yo yo what's going on y'all so i have a message coming from holy spirit this message is coming from saint mark and it is chapter seven and it is jesus challenges the pharisees traditions then came together unto him the pharisees and certain of the scribes which came from jerusalem and when they saw some of the disciples eat bread with defiled that is to say, with unwashed hands, they found fault. For the Pharisees and all the Jews, except what they wash their hands off, not eat, holding the tradition of elders. And when they came from the market, except they wash, they eat not. And many other things there be, which they have received to hold, as the washing of cups and pots, brazen vessels, and of tables. Then the Pharisees and scribes asked him, Why not why why walk not thy disciples according to the tradition of the elders, but eat bread with unwashed hands? He answered and said unto them, Well hath Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This this people honoreth me with their lips but their hearts are far from me. How be it in vain do they worship me? So Holy Spirit is saying these people that are looking at you and judging you according to what you do and how they view it in the world. He's saying, Holy Spirit is saying these people worship him in vain. They do it trying to have a high opinion of their self or their appearance, their abilities or their worth. This is why they worship the Lord. They worship the Lord for how it makes them look. So people will have a high opinion of them for their abilities and their worth. Okay, hypocrites. Not really loving the Lord, but talking about the Lord because of 222, how it makes them look the high opinion that they get from people for the things that they say or the knowledge that they act like they have about the Lord, their abilities and their worth, the money. As it is written, the people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. How be it in vain do they, do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandment of God, you hold the tradition of men as washing of pots and cups and many other such things ye do. And he said unto them, full well, ye reject the commandment of God that ye may keep your own tradition. And Moses said, honor thy father and mother and whoso curseth father or mother, let him die the death. But ye say, if a, if a man shall say to his father or mother it is a corbin that it is to say a gift by whosoever thy, thou mightest be pro profited by me he shall be free and ye suffer him no more to do aught for his father and mother making the word of god of none effect through your tradition which ye have delivered and many such things ye do so there are some people who look at you and feel as though you are unclean, like you are unpurified, like you still have the soul of a sinner because of how you used to do or uh, a way that you have presented yourself or something you did and they saw you or witnessed it or however they are judging you. There is someone who is judging you according to something that you did that they don't see fit. But the person that's judging you is somebody who is far from the Lord, but they act as if they are. This, this is someone who says they know the Lord, they love the Lord. Okay, but they do it for the reasons of the way it makes them look. From, for what they can gain from it. The appearance that, that, that's being set up. 
and they are judging you. They feel like you are untutored, formally not taught or trained. They feel like you are unsophisticated, lacking refined worldly knowledge, taste. Like you don't have worldly knowledge or good taste. They feel as though you are ignorant, lacking knowledge or information. Like you are a low life, lower ranking than them. They think they are better than you. Because of something that they are judging you on that you have done that they that they consist of um, to be low life or lower ranking or untrained or not taught. And these people are hypocrites. They say that they know the Lord. They talk, speak about him as if they know him, but he is not in their hearts. They do it. So people will have a high opinion of them, their appearances, their abilities, and they, their worth. They don't teach each other the word of Christ, but the word of men. <coughs> so this is somebody who would um, not teach out of the Bible, but teach what has been taught to them. They're not teaching what the Lord says, but they are teaching what somebody has taught them and what at, what what has been taught to them and on down the line. So if the Bible says that Christ was uh is Bible says that Christ was crucified for your sins, but if they were taught something else that, that he was just a messenger, then they're going to teach that instead of what the word has said. They are worried about the world and what it looks right to the world. So they're looking you, looking at you and judging you according to the world standards. Not God's standards, but the world standards. How the world would see it. How other people would see it. This is how these people are judging you. The way you talk, your style of dress, the certain things you do, they judge you on. Some of these people that are judging you don't even respect their own mothers and fathers. But these people, that, um, these are the type of people who take care of their parents financially. And they feel like because of they take care of their parents financially, that they're free. Not under the control or power of their parents. And they can be able to act and do as they wish. Because they financially support or take care of their parents. So they're disrespectful. Disobedient. Not giving their father and mother honor because they take care of them. Which they feel makes them free from being under their control or power. And they can do what they want to do. They don't even have respect for their parents. They don't even honor their parents because they feel like the money that they dish out and how they take care of these people, 818, is, is good enough. That's a gift in itself. That's how they feel. That's a gift in itself. They are disregarding the word of God and they do other things consistent of this nature. This is not the only thing that they do consistent of this nature looking at you and judging you based off of what the world thinks and disregarding the word of god this is not all they do these are disrespectful people because of their money they can do what they want to do and say what they want to say and who they want to say it to this is how they feel meanwhile they claim they know and love the lord but because of their resources or their financial gain or their appearance or whatever, they feel like they can be disrespectful. They can judge. They can tell you that you are ignorant or a low life or judge you as one. Tell you that you are unworthy, untrained, untaught. You don't deserve to be a disciple because you did this, because you did that. They deliver their tradition, their customs and their beliefs, their practices, their customs. That's been around them from generation to generation. And the Lord says it is not what goes into a man that defiles him, but what comes out of a man that defiles him. And to defile...
is to spoil. It's evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witnesses, and blasphemy. Okay, these are the things that come out of a person. The things that they are saying to you and the way they are judging you, the way they are looking at you, this is what defiles a person, not what you are doing. Okay? But what but what is coming out of them is what's defiling them, is what's making them a Pharisee, is what's making this, them disrespectful and vain. Don't the Lord says don't worry about what these people have to say to you or about you because they don't have the ability to judge you because they are far from him they don't even know him they worship the, they they talk about the Lord in vain for the way it makes them look and the way the appearance that it gives them And the high opinion that people get, that they get from people from when they talk about the Lord, but not because they love the Lord. But they are judging you, someone who loves the Lord and is close to the Lord because of something you did that they don't see fit from the world or for the world. You, you can't be close to God or a disciple because you did this. The world says this about that. But what did God say? It's not what goes into a man that defiles him but what goes out of what comes out of a man okay so don't let uh people judging you deter you from the lord especially these pharisees people okay these people with these pharisees uh mentality heart and mind these people are far from the lord and they have no right to judge you and they cannot judge you because god knows your heart and he knows theirs Okay, and that's the message. Peace.